Hi everyone, this is Hebba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to do a flip through of my Color Cast Design Summer 2018 album. Now, if you're not familiar with Color Cast Design, uh, Jessica, that's the owner of Color Cast Design, creates these really beautiful wooden traveler's notebook albums and they're perfect if you're the type of person that likes to add some bulky embellishments and things like that to your traveler's notebook. And you know how it gets once you start adding those bulky embellishments in your traveler's notebook, it kind of falls apart. So this is a great uh, kind of way to still be able to use your big embellishments and bulky ones and still kind of use your TNs. Now I've seen a lot of people, and Jessica actually does this, where she cuts apart her traveler's notebook and then adds them into her ring bound uh, TN covers, which is pretty neat and a great idea. Now what I've decided to do with mine are, and if you've been on my channel, you know this, I've been using some of my Kelly Perky papers. They're a great th thickness to them. They have a great thickness to them that you can use them in these types of albums. And I do mix it up. I still use a lot of my own stash of papers, but I really, really love using my Kelly Perky papers in these. So let's start. This ended up being uh, one of my vacation traveler's notebooks. And look how thick this album is. If I had done this in a regular traveler's notebook, it would have definitely not worked because I did use a lot of color cast design acrylics and wood veneers in this TN so it really bulked it up and the ring bound definitely helps kind of keep your um, pages together. So let's start. Love this cover. I do not know if this cover is still on Colorcast Design's website but I will add the link for that website down below for you if you want to check it out yourself. And she is coming out with a fall design which is beautiful and I'm definitely going to be um, working in that album to document my fall pictures. I started my first spread or let's say my intro layout just by adding the date, the 2018 on a label sticker. These are from Kelly Perky, love her label stickers. And I used a really pretty summery pattern paper. I'm gonna say this is a very old Gossamer Blue paper from one of the Traveler's Notebooks. And if you know, Gossamer Blue went out of business, which is really, really sad. So anyways, this is a pretty old paper. I started my first spread with this Where I Stand on the beach. Love this Where I Stand pictures. They are some of my favorite types of pictures to take. And I created this spread for a Feed Your Craft um, creative team project. I use the... I'm going to say it's the Seek Adventure stamp set and I stamped out Lit Curiosity lead on my photo and then I used some of the stamps to create this little cluster for my title and journaled a little bit and added the date. Some of these have the date and some don't. Um, sometimes I forget to add the dates but a lot of times I go back in and add the dates later. This is also a 4x8 photo, a full spread photo um, of my kids and their and our friends on the beach. They were just playing with the sand and my son looks like a really pretty mermaid here. <laughs> Very cute. I just journaled. I took my photo to my typewriter and journaled about this picture. Added some acrylics from Colorcast Design. I kind of flipped my acrylics so the orange ended up on the pink and the pink ended up on the orange. I think that was a really cute touch and that way you can see those acrylics nicely. And literally I just added a few crystal drops um, right next to my acrylic pieces and called it done. Very simple. Actually most of these spreads here are very very easy and I don't believe I have uh, process videos for those but anything I do have process videos for I will add them up at the eye. This is a spread that I created for one of my Colorcast Design Creative Team projects. I am in love with the This Is Us acrylic piece. I was hoarding it forever and decided to use it on the spread documenting one of our favorite traditions when we travel. My family and I always purchase something, some kind of jewelry, and we all wear the same jewelry for the entire trip. So this time around, we decided to purchase these bracelets. 
So I took a picture of that and, of course, wanted to document it in my summer travels album. Um, by the way, now Colorcast Design has a different kind of um, acrylic embellishment, very similar to this with the same phrase, but in a different design, and I love it so much. And maybe I'm going to be hoarding that forever too. <laughs> but I did want to journal, and I just added my journaling on little tag. Then I kind of cut through my paper. Now the great part about these little albums is you can stick the papers together, and that's what I did. So you don't really see where I cut through on the other side of my spread or on the opposite side. So this is what I really love about these journals too, that you can kind of play around with your papers and your layout and not worry about the page right behind it. So you end up kind of sticking two pages together and you can do something like that. I just did like some stamping behind my photo. I did some, or I added some embellishments. This wood veneer is from uh, Colorcast Design also. And then stamped You Complete Me. And then I stamped uh, This Is Us. I believe that's a Kelly Perky stamp. A full spread photo. Love doing that, especially in these albums. Now, I could have definitely not backed it up with white paper, but because I had this page right behind my photo and I didn't have another full size picture, if that makes sense, so I ended up just sticking them onto white cardstock and it kind of adds like a white border, which I love. And didn't do much on this one. I literally just added Summer Nights using this Colorcast Design Acrylic. And you're going to see a lot of Colorcast Design Acrylics and Wood Veneers in this album because I love using them and they kind of bulk up my Traveler's Notebook. So they're great to use in these covers or these albums. I did share this on my YouTube channel, so I do have a process video for this one. My kids ate some worms while we were in the Philippines. So this uh, acrylic set was perfect to document this moment. I just added Yikes Worms, and these are just alpha stickers. And I added some of the confetti. My uh, title ended up being an acrylic piece and some stamping. This is uh, Kelly Perky stamps, and I stamped out here's to the crazy ones because my kids are definitely crazy. I would have never eaten worms, or I would never, let's say, eat worms, but they tried it. He liked it. She didn't, and it was an experience. This is another simple spread. I used the, the acrylic piece as my title, Summer Days. I just stamped Paradise Found because really Paradise was found in this country. It's just gorgeous. Everything, everywhere we went was just beautiful and worth documenting. I used these acrylic or wood veneers uh, just to add a little interest to my title. There's flip flops, ice cream, bikini, really cute. And I stamped Summer Memories. I believe that's a Fiji Craft stamp set. Maybe the Soak Up the Fun stamp set. Not sure but I believe so. This next photo is another full size picture. It took up both uh, sides of my spread. I love this picture. I've documented it so many times throughout my like summer documentations uh, in my project life, uh, in my vacation album, uh, everywhere. So I definitely, when I love a picture, I don't mind kind of uh, documenting it more than once. But I did add my acrylics here, the sun and the heart, and just add a little wood veneer that says was amazing right on top of my acrylics. Love these wood veneers. They have sticky backing, so you just peel it off and stick it down, and it holds up so well. I didn't want to take away from my photo, and I wanted to add something different, so I decided to add my journaling kind of here on the side, Love that. It's It just worked out so nicely and it was kind of different than just adding it under my title. It doesn't take away from my photo, so I thought that was pretty neat and I should be doing that more often. This is another simple spread. I added an, um, an acetate to back up my title. I didn't want to stick it down to my photo, so I thought it would be a great idea to just add my here and there acrylic piece on a piece of acetate and add some texture to my spread. And then I had some polka dots, pattern paper. 
I used a three by four card. I cut it down a little bit and backed it up to some red pattern paper just to bring in the red from my acrylic piece. And I really love how simple this spread is. And it just added a lot of texture and interest to my album. I did share this spread on YouTube um, and I will add it up at the eye for you guys. This was done for a Feed Your Craft Creative Team project. My son and I got sick a few days before traveling and of course I had to add that to my summer vacation. That's something I always do. I document the good, the bad, and all of it. I don't just document great moments. And this is a really bad moment and I used my Feed Your Craft Tough Stuff uh, kit and stamp set. It's a beautiful kit. Um, I believe it's still in stock if you want to check it out. I will add the links down below. But I did a lot of stamping using the stamp set. I used the 3x4 cards to back up my photo. And I also added a page protector to add two 3x4 cards. Added my journaling on one and then just added some splatter and a few puffy stickers to make this 3x4 card look pretty or add some cuteness to it. And you guys know if you've been watching me for a while that I love the black and white combo with a pop of color. It really gives a big bang when you're creating an, uh, a spread. I just love that. I always feel like um, if I don't know where to start, if I just start with a plain black and white pattern paper, I can easily build on that. It just feels, um, it's just it's just an easier process to me when I start with black and white, I guess. But I love that combo. And to finish up my little album, my Traveler's Notebook album, I backed up those three by four cards with uh, two other three by four cards to match my pattern paper and my picture. I literally um, created this kind of orangey yellow, mustardy yellow, I guess from my mangoes from the picture. Um, this is a picture of us four having lunch on the beach on one of our tours. I just used my Fiji Craft stamp set and added food coma. I believe this is the let's eat stamp set and then journaled a little bit, added the best with some alpha stickers and then used one of my three by four cards that says making sunshine. And I love the spread. I probably, Worked on the spread for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. It just came together so easily. And I love these little page protectors in my album because I can still use my 3x4 cards and create some really fun interactive elements in my album. But that's about it, you guys. I really enjoyed documenting our summer vacation in this little mini album. It was loads of fun. And um, yeah, I kind of struggled, I'm not gonna lie to you guys kind of working in a different format. It's not a different format, just a different kind of way of documenting in a traveler's notebook, but it really turned out really cool. And I love the bulkiness of this album and the memories that it holds is just so beautiful. These wood veneer albums are gorgeous. Um, I've seen a lot of people paint their covers. A friend of mine, she's amazing and very, very creative painted hers and I love how it looks. I haven't painted any of mine yet. I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of scared <laughs> to do that, but I might try it and see how it looks. But for now, I really love the wood and I love the patterns on this. It's just so gorgeous. It's definitely one of my favorite albums right now. And um, I can't wait to document fall. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this flip through. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.